so today on the sweet wheel of Gurudev we will read again Chaitanya Charit Amrita and we will read again the quotes from Chaitanya Charit Amrita in Vilap Kusumanjali verse number 16. So last time we ended here and we will start again at the same place. So we know verse number 16 is a wonderful prayer of Srila Raghunadas Goswami. O Goddess, I shall never pray to you for anything else but the excellent service of your lotus feet. I offer my constant obeisances to the idea of becoming your friend, but I really relish the idea of becoming your maidservant. So in his notes, Srila Ananda Das Babaji quotes from Chaitanya Charit Amrita Matya Lila 8. Last time we read these quotes already. And Gurudev was very uh, enthusiastic to hear this again and again. So, I want to fulfill his wish and start here again. Raguna Das is a Nitya Siddha Kinkari. And he is the guru of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. The beautiful and sweet service of Sri Radha is also most dear to us. Of all kinds of servanthood, the servitude of Sri Radha is the greatest. Although you are a Saki, you are also a maidservant, adolescent in form and attributes, and qualified for the most intimate service. There is no other kind of servitude that can soothe the hearts of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. The Manjaris are actually taking part in the Madura Rasa, but still it is servitude. For their service is within the scope of the Madura Rasa. Rupa Raghunata Pade Thoi Bea Kuti Kobe Hambuja Bose Yugala Priti When will I, by following in the footsteps of Srila Rupa, 
And Srila Raghunadas Goswami understand the love of Radha and Krishna. So here comes the second part of the quote of Chaitanya Charitamrita Machalila. Vrindavane Abrakrita Navina Madana Kama Bicha Kama Gayatri Yahara Upasana The transcendental youthful Cupid of Vrindavan Krishna is meditated upon and attained by the Kama Gayatri Mantra, which has the Kama Beach, the seed of transcendental desire, joined to it. So this was the point actually here where Guru Dev said this is most important. The practice of the Kama Gayatri Mantra. He who makes the devotees forget the material world and who maddens them with his transcendental form, qualities and pastimes is the transcendental youthful Cupid and on him we meditate, Dimahi. Gayantam trayate yasmat iti gayatri, that which liberates by being sung is a gayatri. The worship Kam Gayatri Mantra is meant to save us from material existence and to make our bodies, minds and life heirs fit for relishing the flavors of Radha Govinda's transcendental pastimes. So here is a very important point and Suniti is already raising her finger. Yes. Sorry, so. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just jump in. I I ask like a real student. <laughs> so, Radhe Radhe. I was thinking, Gorvani. Yeah, we are trying. You know, actually, we are reading here that we are meditating on the transcendental, youthful Cupid of Radhavan. Krishna, but actually, I don't know if I'm wrong. But I chant mantra like meditate. I meditate on my Swamini and uh, on her Pushpa Banaya. And maybe you want to say and share something about that. Maybe I, I, I would like to learn how to really deeply meditate on this mantra. Learn from all of you. Learn from Goravani. And Raja Sundari, how to really go deep into this meditation? Actually, I'm completely unqualified to talk about this, but I have some idea. Maybe it's good, maybe it's wrong, I don't know. Please, you have to correct me if I'm wrong, especially Gurudev should give me the right understanding, please. So, actually we meditate on Krishna, but in a very special way. When we chant Gayatri, first of all we have to be in our form. So the few is from our form. If you see the Gayatri, you can see it from Krishna's side to Radharani, from Radharani's side to Krishna. But there's also, I mean there are many ways, but there's also one way which is more interesting for us. 
from our view of servitude, I am a maid servant of Swamini. So I look at Krishna, how he is bewildered by my Swamini. So I meditate on him, but I just see that he is completely bewildered. All his senses are actually taken away by my Swamini. And I see how great her love is, how wonderful every Every little aspect is from her. And that Krishna is even bewildered if she is just looking from the corners of her eyes to him. She is moving one part of her body just a little bit. And he is completely bewildered. He falls unconscious because it's too much for him. He cannot digest the sweetness of Radharani. So we may see it from that side. So we can say, yes, we meditate on him who is bewildering all the others, but who is bewildered in the same time by our Swamini. We try to see it anyway from Radharani's side because a kinkari is a little Radha. She looks like Radha. She smells like Radha. She is a little bit younger, but she looks very similar, so sweet. This is the mercy of Swamini. She is giving her beauty and all her good qualities to her maidservants. So in this way we are very similar to her and by serving her more and more we get her qualities. So no wonder that the kinkaris are most dear to this transcendental youthful Cupid. And he needs them. He needs them to come to meet Radharani. So it's our good luck, our good fortune. And this is actually the point in this verse, Srila Raghunadas doesn't want to serve as a girlfriend of Swamini on the same level, more or less in the same age. He makes it very clear here, I just want to serve you as a maid servant, but the idea of friendship I take on my head because I'm very respectful and I'm very thankful for this offer, but I just want to serve you. I don't want to be on one level with you. So this verse is actually making this point so clear. And then after this verse actually the service starts. In the next verses we hear about the seva. What kind of seva is done. So it's a, it's a key verse actually. And, and, and it's a key point. From which point of view we are chanting this Gayatri?
but Suniti Didi, we also want to learn from you. And maybe Gurudev is also there and wants to give some hints to us. Yes, Gurudev, can we have your darshan? We miss you so much. If you cannot help us, then how can we be one Dasi? All that I can say is that this is, like you already mentioned, the key to a deeper understanding of our relationship and our service to Swamini. And we are so lucky that Gurudev is hammering us in our little minds and lovingly giving this thing. Like last time, also Gurudev mentioned how important this mantra is and how important to go deep with the mantra. And I remember when Gurudev said about the Maha Mantra, not only to chant the mantra, that is good to meditate, to chant, but to live in the mantra. To live with this, with this deep feeling to Radha and Mohan and their service. That is the prayer and I think these two mantras, the Maha Mantra and the Kambija Mantra, they are so closely connected, actually they are, in a way they are also one. But they have a special power and that is like Ananda Das Babaji saying, the Kam Gayatri Mantra is to, to save us from material existence. And I feel from my personal understanding or feelings what I have, what I feel that saving us from material existence is, or myself, I can only speak for myself because it's a personal, what is that saving? What is that, what I want to be saved off from? <laughs> no, what is this? This, the, um, the difference between the spiritual and the material understanding or life, and that is actually to have Radha and Mohan when they are needing the services and allow us to serve in a special way. And they are inviting us to serve. Like Guru give always this explanation, Maha Mantra is the, I want to say it shortly, the divine embrace or the cosmic embrace of Radha and Mohan. They are embracing each other and they are not only embracing each other, they again become one because Radha and Krishna are two, but they are one soul. They are always one, but they become two to also relish love and to share love. And in this Maha Mantra, they again become one and they invite us to serve and to share the love also and invite us into their divine realm of love. And this Kamagayatri, because Gurudev gave us also homework last week, right, Gauravani? That's why I'm 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 trying to churn a little bit of this homework. And it's eternal homework for me. Because every day, again, to come into this feeling of this uh, oneness of Radha and Mohan and how to serve them when they are separated or how to make Swamini, you know, feel Mohan. And when she's in separation, 
and how to serve them when they are together according to what they want. So that is uh, the secret is in the karma uh, Gayatri, and it's given by eternal internal revelation from Gurudev to his dasis on that level of soul to soul, service to service in the spiritual body. So when Gurudev says, live in the mantra, I feel to live in the mantra is to always be in the feeling that what do they need now? What they want from me? What Swamini wants from me? Never forget it at any day, given time. Although I'm not there, I have to admit I'm not there, even though we speak about it. But speaking about it is, is another level than realizing it, having the perfection in it. But at the same time, we speak about it, and Gurudev inspires us to speak about it, because also this speaking about it is service, right? It's a service. We are reminding each other to reach the, the divine love and serve the divine love, serve Radha and Mohan, and especially serve our Radhi, Radharani. And uh, many times, Gurudev has also mentioned that this sidelong glance is Srimati Radhika's glance, and as you say so nicely, how she is melting Mohan's heart and his whole body, actually, until he faints. So, when Mohan is melted by the love of Srimati Radhika's glance, like you said so nicely, just her eye looking from the side in a hidden way, underneath her, you know, veil, a sari, that is already full, so much, you know, full transcendental love that he cannot even hold himself in that moment, although he is usually the Supreme Lord, but here the flute is dropping from his hand, the peacock feather is falling down to her feet, and she is not only our Swamini, but then she becomes his Swamini also. And in that moment, there's many services that can be needed. And these services, they will be also revealed. I pray for that, that they will be revealed. And although I'm very fallen soul, and I am fully uh, identified, uh, identifying with this body and this mind, but I'm lucky also at the same time, because Srimati Radhika has called us all to Vrindavan, and we can sit there and listen and purify the heart. And once the heart becomes more and more purified, then this mantra will also reveal, because Maha Mantra and also Kama Bija Mantra, they are non-different from Radha Mohan. And I feel that's what Gurudev also wants to share with us. That these mantras are the personalities of transcendental flavors of divine love themselves, Radha Mohan. And step by step, slowly, slowly, but surely we will reach the ultimate goal and become purified, become blessed by getting some entrance into that realm. Little, little feelings come and hope always is there. So we are crying for some drops of mercy every day and in every hour we are like a hungry bird <laughs> that's why I asked this question only sorry for interrupting Gorawani no sorry 
It's always nice to hear and come in the feelings. You're inspiring me. <laughs> so actually, like you said, Gurudev said that we should live in the mantra. For me, it also has another meaning. Who is living in the mantra? Me as material person or me as Manjuri in my Sitadeha? Who can live in a mantra? Only in my Sitadeha I can live in the mantra. And this calm Gayatri is actually a good practice to go into the Mahamantra in a completely different way from the back door. Hare Hare. The last Hare Hare. When they are in Raman Reti and calling, come, serve us. Because this is written here. When even you are unable to bring him back to consciousness, you will need me. You will need me. Swamini thinks to Lassi, I cannot break Priyatama's swoon. Why don't you please come? So she will need my seva. To get this transcendently youthful Cupid again to life, because he fainted, because he was bewildered by my Swamini. And how she is doing this, I can get a feeling in this Kam Gayatri. By practicing and go deeper and pray to get the mercy to go deeper. And this mercy will come from Guru Manjari. He is bringing us, handing us the mercy of Swamini and the whole Parampara. In this way we can enter the Mahamantra from the back door. Go directly into the Kunja. Then we will live in the mantra because it is a life. We are in the Kunja and we are serving. And the names are non different from the persons. So Srimad Rupa Goswami says the Kama Rupa Raga Bhakti, the spontaneous devotion in the erotic mood, is of two kinds. Now we know what these two kinds are. And this verse is clarifying it so wonderfully. Srila Ananda Das Babaji is giving us all details so that we understand our position in, in the chanting of the Gayatri and then in the chanting of the Mahamantra. So in this way we will not be confused. What I should do when I chant? <laughs> I should live in the mantra. I, the maiden.
And Krishna himself is describing what happens when he sees Radharani first time. It's also here in this verse described to underline what happens with him. She entered my mind and the resultant smoke of Cupid did not allow me to sleep anymore. I am now constantly meditating on her. Who knows how the pain of separation feels? My body becomes skinner and weaker every day. So, in this way, this transcendental Cupid is also our Gurudev. He himself is serving Swamini's lotus feet. He himself is constantly meditating upon her. How to serve her, how to, to write his name on her lotus feet so that he can stick with the name at her feet. We chant the name and stick, hopefully. In so many ways he's showing us how to do and what to do. So it's very clear. We are Radha Sne Hadika. And this is called Bhavola Sarati. by reading again and again and dive into deep, deep, deep in these scriptures, in the mood of Rupa and Raghunath, by the guidance of a person who has already attained his Sitadeya, we will be injected, infused, that kind of love, more and more in the heart. Because it's very simple. The persons you are with, they influence you. So because we are with such nectar bees here, all want to become manjaris or are already manjaris by this association and reading the books of Nitya Sita manjaris, kinkaris, it will be able for us to come there. We just have to stick, stick at the lotus feet of Guru Manjari and Swamini. Jai Gurudev. <laughs> so they are one soul and one life heir. And they are all controlled 
bei Radha. Isn't that wonderful? Ananda Das Babaji is saying this so often that only thinking about it is already so wonderful. I am a maid servant means I look like her. I smell like her. I'm a little bit younger. I always want to serve her. I get her maha. I'm dressed with her maha. I'm wearing the flowers of her maha. The decorations maha. Everything maha. I am a maha body from her. I am completely made out of her mercy. Just to think about this is so wonderful, so beautiful, so sweet. Who we are and who is she. And we have the possibility to be so similar to her by her mercy, not by any qualification of us, by her mercy. This is our qualification. by living in the mantra, being in the right position, living in the mantra, and then later on, not only in the mantra, because mantra and persons are the same. So this was the start, like Gurudev was so inspired last time, so we started again from here. I, I would like to add a little bit, Kauravani, that came to me. Please. Um, because also the question always comes from devotees, how will I... Uh, how will the pastime reveal? How will the Leela reveal? How will the mantra reveal? Yes, mercy is always the word. But I remember also one quote of our Gurudev Narayan Maharaj that I wrote down because it inspired me. And then I put it in my kitchen and then I can read it again and again. And it says, the pastime will reveal by service to Shri Guru in the Parampara. I like it. That means also some love and action is required. Some multiplication, as Gurudev says. Some inspiration, some sharing. And we are doing this here already now. This is also love and action. This is also service, what we are doing, right? To remind each other, to help each other, to assist each other. And that is service in this loving mood. That's such an important point that sometimes we think we have to search for seva, special kind of seva. But actually where we are, there is the seva. Because love is everywhere. Radharani's love is everywhere. We can serve that love in so many ways. This love has so many faces, so many aspects. And we can serve that kind of love all the time, wherever we are. It's just a question of our point of looking on it. Oh no, I don't want to do this. I want to do that. 
Well, when another run is going on Abyssa, I cannot say stop, stop. I, I want to f to do another saber for you. Why are you running now towards this boy? I have to be practical. The saber is very clear, actually. It's there already, also in our called material life. It's not a material life, it's just called a material life. Because actually we are already in practice. It's just your vision. Daily life, we have to go in the kitchen and cook something, isn't it? Because we all need to eat here and there. So Radharani wants to cook for her lover. We can say, oh Swamini, can I cut some vegetables for you? Can we cook together for your lover? Can I help you in any way? What do you want to cook for your beloved today? So it's just a question of do we realize it? Do we go in this meditation? And do we live in this meditation? Yes, it will not work all the time. Yes, we all have this experience. The mind is crazy, going here and there. But again and again, it's our chance to get him back by chanting, by doing Gayatri, by performing Seva, practical seva, we can clean the altar, we can change the water, we can do so many things on the outer platform. But if we are not meditating in the same way, then it's not so powerful. But if we meditate, that now we are going to Radharani and bringing her water. We are going to her beloved Mohan, bring him water. He is drinking. Then the Maha water I give to Swamini. It's, it's a meditation. It's very practical. It's here already. It's not far away. A person is ringing the bell. A guest. Oh, come in. Take some nice Mahaprasad from our Swamini. That's Seva. Like I see Suniti Didi when I see at, at her at home, she's always like this. Always in this mood of serving all these persons prasadam, giving them something from the garden or whatever constantly meditating what Radharani wants now to give to others. Because Radharani is in the giving mood, there's no taking. She wants to give always. She wants to hand her love to everyone. So let us help her. So it's not far away, it's there, very practical. And Guru Dev is telling us this again and again, again and again, love in action. He's telling us in such a simple way that we can understand, love means action. You have to act in love, that's it. It's so simple. There's our seva, there it starts, and of course it will develop more and more. Because by doing seva, more seva will come. This is just normal. Even on the material platform, we know that out of movement, the next chance of movement grows. Even on the material platform, it's like this. How it shouldn't be on the platform of pure love. If you act in love, more possibilities to act in love will just come. So 
So we are so lucky. If you have no questions anymore, you can just act. If you don't act, you still have a lot of questions. <laughs> Go around, Bani. I was just thinking also love in action. It's a nice inspiration to be active, but actually it's the full nature of the kinkeries of this of this of the mantras. They always need to be inactive and share the love of Swamini. And she wants them also to share and she is happy when they also help her but also help others. That is the principle of love and action. So Gurdev, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's genius. Actually, I was thinking Prabhupada's giving in the National Society for Krishna Consciousness and you are giving love and action. Yes, now we can hear you. Okay. Right, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Prabhupada was talking. And, uh, say about Prabhupada. I said, Gurudev, Prabhupada gave, you know, this Krishna consciousness movement. If we know now, it's also Radharani's movement. It's only Radharani's movement because she is the Krishna conscious jewel and his all and only. But you're giving this love in action, and that is also that is so sweet because the mandaris are always love in action. That is their nature. Sevaras. You give the movement for Sevaras, Gurudev. Jata Jata Amrit is written by Prabhupada. When you read this, then you understand Prabhupada also gave Radha consciousness. And when you read after Chaitan Chaitan with Bhagavad Gita, you will find out Radha Kansi. This is the beauty of Prabhupada. Yeah, this is the beauty of Prabhupada. Why I say there is nothing can be higher than this. How evidently he show the way to us. This way, if you go, this is Radha So now we were at the point of Seva and um, amazingly where we actually go on uh, part four the first quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita is about the service. Because Krishna is saying, what an incomparable service my Bhakta is doing here. He is astonished. 
Bhaktera prema chesta deki krishnera chamatkaro Chaitanya charit amrita Even Krishna is astonished when he sees the loving activities of his devotees. Even he is astonished when he sees the loving activities of his devotees. So no wonder that he is astonished. Because he falls unconscious. Even Radharani cannot bring him back to consciousness. But the kinkari, she can. Isn't that astonishing? Yeah. You can imagine, writer not know the goal. Who is writing this, they know the goal. The mercy of Prabhupada, obviously, is he made the temple that this temple will be one society to change the practice of the Western Jews. Western mind, who never knows about that culture, to lead to that, lead to that. Mm -hmm. They will wake up at early morning for Mangra Arati, and they will change their habit to take bath in morning time, not in time. Mm -hmm. All the habits, how beautifully he changed, this is the ashram. To live in the jointly, one place cooking and eating together. No one wants to eat together. This is the vegan concern. This is the thing for myself I cook for, eat myself, not as a prasadam, but in scoops I will leave that. How the change is slowly penetrating in our life, the mercy of Prabhupada. When we see even the alien also become like a master now. They will become, they become old. Whole vegan is running. Means what I like, I cook for myself, not for the off. So this vegan concept is a very dangerous concept, not devotional. To cut the devotional concept. This new program is that I don't know to in behind that. But Prabhupada must, you see, everywhere they understand that Indian food, vegetarian food, they like prasad. The best person I also think that actually one of the main points Prabhupada made again and again, he pointed it so many times, devotional service, devotional service, devotional service, devotional service. So he also was actually exactly on that point that you have to do something in practice. You have to do some devotional service actually. So. After 
इस परंपरा न तो आफ्टर प्रभु पास नो की दैट परंपरा इज डिस्टर्बेंस दे चेंज द परंपरा परंपरा टू सर्व एंड टू लविंग टू दॉ दे चेंज दिस परंपरा इन मायावाद टू कैरिंग दैट फॉलो टू गुरु Prabhupada always talks about this. Hare, he never said Guru, Jai Guru. I see one video in Miami. In ninety four, ninety five, ninety five, in uh, Miami Temple of Paramatma Shiva, it was Prabhupada's birthday, and they are showing that. And they opened, and I start trying to see that when he say, "I'm," I see there is nothing I do. You all are my Guru Dev expansion, expansion, and you I see in all of you my Guru Dev who is doing, mm-hmm. and I cry at the bar. This is the tattva. We think we do, but the Guru Dev is doing in the form of. Expansion of his become children, family to expand that like a fancy. So you are doing. I see in all of you, my good. I repeat this video ten times to remember. See that really, this really, this this line on the repeating. What a beautiful word she said to this disciple. This is the reality. This is the parampara. Without mercy, we cannot do anything. So that. <coughs> महाराज प्रभुपाद नारायण महाराज महाजन अमृत वाणी दे आर टॉक इन दिस परंपरा बट गौरवानी If they deviate from this, is not parampara followers. So we see that actually here it's made very clear 
what actually this parampara is and what actually Gaudiya means. So, means to follow that way. Is a Jesus way, and one is a missionary way. Mark and uh, society is a missionary way, priest way. That is different way. But the Mahajan, what they make this? Mahajan words, we have to see. We have to see the words of Jesus. We have to see the Mahajan who relies and who has a love for that. Parampara. This these words. So the next quote from Chaitanya Chart Amrita we find in verse number 18 and it's about the drop one drop of mercy it's the verse of the cleaning of Swamini's latrine so first comes the point then comes the quote Breya unlocks the shackles of the Lord's mercy in the previous verse Sri Raguna Das had a vision a very sweet pastime in his Swarup Avesh Swamini had made Tulasi Manchari here marked maidservant with the fresh lak dye, the anointed signs of fortune that adorned her lotus feet. And when that vision vanishes, Raghunath considers his life to be useless. So I just actually wanted to point out that actually 16 is making very clear in what, what mood we, ser we serve. And then Srila Raghunath gets actually the food lack of Swamini where the name of Krishna is written on. First Krishna is writing his name in the food lack and then Tulasi Manjari gets the stamp. So now she is stamped. That means she is showing everyone, I am the maidservant of Radha. And now she is beginning the seva of gleaning the latrine. I find this very important. One drop of mercy. So here comes the quote of Chaitanya Charit Amita. Shuddha Prema Sukha Sindhu Paitara Eka Bindu Se Bindu Chakat Dubai. Even one drop from the blissful ocean of pure love inundates the world. Mm -hmm. 
Although Sri Raghunath always swims in that blissful ocean, he is still always lamenting out of divine love. Sri Rata is the embodiment of complete love, but still the devotees feel so much pain while constantly attaining her in dreams, smarana and visions. This is the speciality of Bracha Brema. Never satisfied. More and more. That's the need. Sri Rata is the embodiment of complete love. But still the devotees feel so much pain while constantly attaining her in dreams, smarana and visions. This is the speciality of Bracha Prema. I just thought that even Krishna cannot get enough. He always wants more, more, more and more. In this way he is also a good guru for us. <laughs> because he learned from Radhika. He becomes himself that took the mood of Radhika as a Chaitanya and covered himself. That is Mandi. Without that, he no understand Radhika, it is without this mantra. That is the table of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He said, this is too quick. What Krishna cannot understand, so he has to take the mood of Mandari in Chaitanya form. On the love of Radhika. Remembering this Brahma, a poet has said. Bodo Vedana Ramoto Veche Chohe Tumi Amara Prane. You announced it to me in a very painful way, but you are my very life. Stay
Still this agony is a special kind of transcendental bliss. Therefore, the Acharyas have classified it as a rasa. Those who wander in the kingdom of ecstatic love know the purport of that. When the vision vanishes, Raghunath becomes very anxious. Udvega diva shanayaya kshana hoilo yuka shama varshara mega braya ashru varise nayana Chaitanya Chari Amrita Of anxiety, the day will not pass. A moment appears to be an age, and tears are flowing from my eyes like rain showered from a monsoon cloud. In such, such is the condition of Sri Raghunadas without the personal service of Srimati, he considers the world to be empty. And therefore, he weeps and laments in great agony. His heart pines from the Kainkarya rasa, the flavor of service, of Sri Radha. So the next quote comes directly after, so I will just go on reading here Anandadas Babaji's notes. Suddenly a sweet vision comes to Sri Raghunath. He sees himself on the terrace of Sri Radha's house in her abode, Yavat. In his spiritual form of Tulasi Manjari, he is there. It is morning time, but Srimati is still sleeping in her bedroom, exhausted of her amorous nocturnal pastimes with Sri Krishna. Srimati Rupa Manjari mercifully gives Tulasi a menial service to begin with. Devotional service is everything, starting from the most menial services. It is summertime and Tulasi begins to flush Srimati's latrine, latrine with a lot of cold water letting it run off through the train. Then she opens her bride and wraps the latrine clean with her opened hair, thinking, why should I only clean this place with the with my open hair. It would be better if I rubbed it with my very life. Rabani, I like to add something, is okay? Yes, of course. 
always welcome. <laughs> so nice to meditate on this point. If we meditate on this from the view of material bodies, this is not very attractive, right? <laughs> not really. <laughs> and, uh, but Raghunath will give his life for this. He, he add this, now, not only with his hair, but with his life. He liked to clean. But actually, this kind of cleaning is different to cleaning in the material world. Because the remnants from Mahabhav, they are actually more powerful Mahabhav. What is coming out of her body, it's more than pure love, it's also her bath is there. So, and everyone who, who comes in contact to this remnants of her body will, uh, will automatically enter the stage of Mahabhav. And so he would offer his life for this kind of cleaning. And this is the beauty on this um, explanation of the verse. So we can see it with material eyes or with spiritual eyes. And the spiritual view is much more attractive. And I can see also that he will give up his, his life when he is leaving this moments of direct service. Because to open this to us, he has to come back from his vision to somehow to, to open it to us. And this is very painful to him. And so he said, this is my life will be useless if I don't get a new vision. Because this new vision is meaning, again he will enter his Swarup and automatically his Seva. So it's so beautiful to listen this cleaning latrine of Radhika. But we need the special eyes and ears for this to understand. Mundava. Very good. Very good. It's not so easy to understand, Gurudev. <laughs> in the latrine of another person. <laughs> With one's life air. With one's life air and hairs. Divine service. <laughs> then also we can understand Narottam Das when he is cleaning the latrine of his guru. So, this is only possible when one has a, a higher vision and is not on the material platform. Otherwise, we cannot find the ecstasy in cleaning others' uh, toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Toilets are very stinky here in this world.
So Tulasi thinks. <laughs> what Rasalila say something of your realization? You are the toilet cleaner. <laughs> yeah, say something. Uh, I know you have realizations. Don't hide. No, I actually want to tell you something else, but I cannot. I didn't think that you could hear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, we are very private here. <laughs> nobody listen. Nobody listen. It's only you and us. <laughs> no, but anyway, yeah. When you were saying about uh, <laughs> not easy maybe to clean lately you know, somebody else, but of course also if you have only the because in my case I have only material uh, vision. I have no spiritual. So, but so also material vision. At least, if you have love for that person, then okay, mm -hmm. maybe it's also stinky because, of course, you are in material senses. So you feel this thing, the smell, that smell or whatever. Uh, but still, you do because you are moved from love. So you're not thinking, oh, ah, my God, so bad. No, you just do it because you love. No, so like mother with kids. No, mm -hmm. maybe uh -huh. not as enjoying not like this man but it's yeah. part of the love and the relation so also if you are mm -hmm. um, so what about if you are in this uh, spiritual sense that it's even a good smell and you want to be mm -hmm. like to do this to do that so this is amazing uh, to mm -hmm. think that this can be possible i hope i can also update. I didn't thought from the beginning that we would dive so deep in that, but anyway, <laughs> um, if we are here, I also had some children and I actually I remember when they were babies when they were babies what came out from the mother milk it was not stinky actually the pureness of the person actually is the base of what comes out. So our Swamini actually is the highest, purest person existing, the highest love. Whatever comes out there is not only not smelling, <laughs> it's uh, fragrant. It's fragrant. It's like the best perfume. It's 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 rubbing your consciousness. It's it's, it's giving you a completely different consciousness. It will actually embrace you in love, in Mahabhav. And like Gora Sundara said, actually, it is a complete different view. Because whatever is touched by Mahabhav is not only Mahabhav, but specific, actually. Because whenever Swamini is giving something, I mean, she knows who will do the seva. She, she is giving her well only her mercy. Or any small watch, alarm watch. We have to buy one. How to buy it? <laughs> So I think it's good to meditate on all these aspects of Seva very deep. Yeah, nearby. Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't so actually, 
what or what what Sri Raghunath is praying for menial service. For us this sounds very menial, but actually menial what we can keep on in that sense is not menial. <laughs> Actually, Gauravani, I was thinking menial means mini service, but actually it's maha service, mahabhav yes. service. Yes. So all kind of service for Swamini is actually very special. Really, every. I mean, honestly, I hate washing dishes. <laughs> but when I wash the pots for Radharani, it's completely different. You can fall into meditation, or even if you you just think, okay, I will do it for you. I don't like it, but I will do it for you. Then feelings are changing, actually, isn't it? So even if you hate some seva, in this connection with Swamini, everything gets so wonderful. Sometimes I see Vinod Baba give too much philosophy. No, I am not. Yes, good day. <laughs> and this is so easy, no? No yeah. philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> Why to make complications? Our mind. Is that I'm missing Brahma power? He gives so much this, that, this, that, this, that. But here you see the flow of Ananda Bhavaji must only meditate. Without knowing nothing, like a baby, presentation, this is the mercy of all of you. Always reminding, 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 do, do this, do this. Maybe one day it will change my life. By listening, this other subject is not there. Much. So easy life. And it's always amazing, Gurudev, you make a point and the next sentence is from Ananda Das Babaji. Sadhana, practice, is here in this world. And Siddhi, perfection, is here. And it is perceivable at the stage of Bhava. Sadhana ekhane siddhiyo ekhane, Bangla. Sadhana ekhane siddhiyo ekhane bhavera gochara se, ekhanata yadi tekite na pao marile deki poke. Marile deki ekhane dekite na pao marile deki poke. Read English. <laughs> 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 
Sadhana is here, in this world, and city, perfection, is here, and it is perceivable at the stage of Bhava. If you don't see Krishna here, do of lack of Bhava, then how will you see him when you die? So this is actually also a very nice hint, isn't it, Gurudev? Because this is saying, if you don't have bhava, no feelings, then you have no connection. So if your body dies, how you want to reach Swamini? If you don't feel her? One if you day. don't... Okay, wait then I will say. Oh no. Mm -hmm. You want to say? No, Sorry. If you don't see Krishna here, then how you will see him when you die? Wow. <laughs> 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 so if you have no feeling connection, how you will have it when you die? How can we speak about greed when we wait until we die? There is no greed. We have to do it immediately. There is no time. Right? Mm. So small time. Yeah. Greed and intense greed. Intense greed. Wow. Greed and Vinod Baba say intense greed. It should be greed intense. <laughs> One day I was sitting, I said, Baba is talking about Radharani, Radharani, and he writes and he writes Krishna. Why he do like this? A little question I do. Then come to me the vision, Are if you don't understand Krishna, then how you will understand his energy? For a spiritual development, you have to connect with your soul to super soul. You have to be spiritual, not material. When you come to a spiritual identity, then you can see them. So Krishna is coming because to much to spiritualize yourself, not in and then realizes. Right? Yes. Perfectly right, Gurudev. Well, somebody say, Krishna, we see energy of Krishna. Somebody say, Krishna, we see the energy of Krishna. Mm. That we have to make We are the Dasi of Krishna. Mm. And again, you just brought this theme up, and Ananda Das Babaji is writing in his comments. The mind of a devotee who is fixed in smarana 
goes to the kingdom of Lilas and relishes the pastimes so vividly there as if they are directly perceived. So oh. that can only be happen in Citadea. Yeah. Citadea chinti kore tahai sevana sakhi bhave poi rata krishnera charana. Chaitanya charit amrita. Citadea chinti kore tahai sevana. So keep Havi Poi Radha Krishna Charana Chaitanya Chart Amrita. Think of your devotional service in your Sita Deha, your spiritual body. Thus you will attain Radha and Krishna's lotus feet in the mood of the Sakis. The Mahachans say that each and every soul is eligible for the service of Sri Radha and by the power of associating with these Mahachans pure God consciousness spontaneously manifests itself in the pure spirit soul. Yeah. Se gopi bhavamrita yara loba hoy. Anyone who becomes greedy for that nectarian mood of the gopis, these people are the fortunate souls who have obtained the grace of like-minded great Rasika devotees. The fullest manifestation of devotion is Gopi Bhav. For the Gopis are exclusively dedicated to the pleasure of Sri Krishna. And this Gopi Bhav is the treasure of the practice of the pure swan-like devotees. And the culmination of this Saki Bhav is Manjari Bhav. Okay. You see this Again, they make this difference, differences to understand what, what is the meaning. Like yesterday also, we spoke about the remnants. Those who surrounded Swamini, no, was the mind on Krishna. But our mind, when we're surrounding Swamini, is not with Krishna. We are, our mind is with Swamini. We are also surrounding them, but our mind and thoughts are different to them of the gopis and the sakis. No? Again, this nice explanation there. So again, we come to this point. We started from verse number 16, who is actually clearing that point. And we saw in the beginning, from which few we should actually chant the Gayatri, the calm Gayatri Mantra. Gurudev, maybe you want to... No, no, I want to miss. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So the calm Gayatri, as we said in the beginning, you can see from different views what is your angle, what is your point of view. It is said in the calm Gayatri, you are meditating upon the transcendental Cupid. And Suniti, we were discussing, is it really that we uh, have our meditation upon this transcendental Cupid? Yes, but in a very special angle, actually. We see from our spiritual body, we look how Radharani is bewildering that transcendental Cupid with her blink of an eye, with her movement of one limp of her body, slightest movement. And our transcendental Cupid, who is bewildering all the three worlds, is bewildered by that. So when we call him Kamadev, this is a little sarcastic. Oh, Kamadev! Oh, hero! You, you <laughs> uh, <laughs> enchanting the whole universe. What happened? What to happened you? to you? <laughs> you was uh, all unconscious by a sidelong glance by our Swamini. What happened? <laughs> Please bless us with your ecstasy, <laughs> like this. I, I feel it's a little sometimes sarcastic what Manjaris are doing. They are always joking. They are in this mood, actually. They always have fun, but in a loving way. It's not like we here. It's not on the cost of anyone, actually. No, it makes it makes Krishna greater that, that we joke about him. Yeah. Well, Good uh, if. Yeah. Please, yeah. please yeah. add something, Gurudev. I said 12, 12 and a half. They don't understand. <laughs> 12, 12 and a half. And the half makes the difference. Half makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's the half is making the fun. <laughs> Others cannot know what one to do. Only half knows the reality. That is the Mahajanja Parasamanta. That, that is our Parampa. That is the inheritance of our experience. Guru never say till we are not realized. He never open the fact because he create the first part that I can accept and receive it. Mm -hmm. if there is a divine connection, he always slowly, slowly put it something. Of his realization in our that So it's very interesting that we come naturally again to the same point like we started up. Yeah. There 
because this half is only very taking in this store to so first we have to enter in the position of the half And the last sentence here in this explanation, in the connection with this verse, was by following in the footsteps of the external perfect devotees that belong to the Lord's internal potency, one can attain the confidential Nikunsha Seva of Sri Radha and Madhava. Again, read again. By following in the footsteps of the eternally perfect devotees. Wow! Eternally perfect devotees. That it is, it is not self-realized. Radha Kasmika. Yeah. The root of our parampara. By following the footsteps of the eternally perfect devotees. that belong to the Lord's internal potency. See? They the belong. Lord's internal potency. Who is Radha Dasi? Lord eternal potency. He can talk Krishna Krishna, but he belongs to the eternal potency of her. He did not belong to this. That belong to the Lord's internal potency. One can attain the confidential Nikunja Seva. Yeah. Of Sri Sri Radha and Mohan. Sri Raj. So, in this way, the circle is closed again. We are at the beginning again.
They are greedy and they can give us Because Gurudev will say, we will not understand. Because we have to need more help to understand the words of Gurudev. So we have to develop Akuti in this Rupa Raguna, Avideha and Pariyujan. Without Avideha and Pariyojana Akuti, intense great will not be. Greed is also a fundamental position of the devotees. It has to come without it's not working, right? I can work. We have to come in our fundamental heart position. Never full. The moment we will be full, we are not in fundamental position. We have to always have. We need more and more greedy. This is half. If we are full, then we are not greedy. <laughs> we are empty. When we are yeah. full, we are empty. If we, we think are we are full, then we are empty. We are half, so we need more. <laughs> and we never full because we are poison is half. <laughs> but a man full acharya's heart. <laughs> Why it's a half? Because we will have to be greedy. We will never put ourselves. <laughs> this is the big They are full. Not one. with all the qualities careful. I'm not that much words I have, but all qualities. They are not now. Now time is over. Yes, yes. What do you I see I want to say one thing. I see pure spirit here. One word was a pure spirit. And Prabhupada Bhagavat also said pure spirit. And I was surprised why Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita pure spirit. Really, we are the pure spirit. So, Bhagavad Gita, Vilakusu Manjali, Bhagavad Gita, Chaitan Chaitamrit is no different, my dear. If you read Vilakusu Manjali, you will find everything there. Because more eyes will open, more vision, the heart will open, then we can see Prabhupada mercy more clearly. And that way, 
we have to show them how to see into the Bhagavad Gita without our own Chaitanya If they will not read Chaitanya Tavrit, they will not understand Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. What they will do? But the day our situation fixed in us, then it's possible. If we are full, we will never fix it in us. We have to be up and be happy with us. <laughs> Somni will never leave you no. because you are up. Mother never leaves up when he is trying to make full big then she leaves. And we not want to be full. How did she will leave you? We are half. And when the half is just going to beg Krishna's mercy, he will stay half because Krishna will just fill up the half. Yeah, yeah. But if we go, if the half is going to Radharani, she will add the other half and fill it up. Yeah. And then it's full. No, 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 we no, are no, no. Half. eternally half. We always, if, if someone puts something inside, we have to extend our pot that it's still half. Our pot is like this. <laughs> but then it's fill, full. <laughs> but it's also half. She wants to fill it, but I am very half. This has never ended. That is many to be half. That I my desires are on and on growing. Yes, and we need the greed. Then, uh, if we have a greed, then it's always half. If we half. give up the greed, then it's finished. If the fool, then my greed will finish. So I have to be half. My pot is so big, it and never fills up. And Radha Kun is never uh, empty, it's always flowing over. Yeah. More and more. More and more. Want to fill his always desires are so much that it never fulfills. He's always half. You see the Radha Kunda picture, is Shama Kunda is lower than Radha Kunda. Yes. <laughs> yes, Radha. Shama Kunda is at the lotus feet of Radha Kund. Yes, oh, that's the point. <laughs> and we are the half of that. Radha Kund, Sham Kund, and we are. But we are in the side of Radha Kund. We have to wide pot half full. Yeah. <laughs> no. My pot never full. If they have a Mandiri house and half and half. Maximum half, that is the maximum half. <laughs> maximum half. That's our constitutional position, maximum half. <laughs> we see Raghunath is never uh, satisfied with service. He always Max asks for more. Maximum half. So never. Half. This is Parampara. <laughs> 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 
And yes, thank and, you, Gauravani. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you, all devotees, for your mercy, your kindness. You're taking part here. I think the whole recording, it will be big as such.